Guess what? Me and my baby got extension. Yep. Look. Oh, isn't she pretty? She looks just like me now. Yep. Oh, guess what? Oh, stay there, baby. I got a new teacher. She, she's got really big boobs. Like, really big. And you know what she did? She put her coffee cup in there. You're crazy. But, I mean, I can't do anything. But, I mean, some people, I guess, can use it to hold things. Yeah. It's okay. It's time for my mom. I gotta keep it short. She's back. No, I can't do my own video for a while. I love you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, okay? All right. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>
So looking at this video in its base form, this little girl wrongfully snatches this toy from this little girl. But instead of using this moment to teach these naive children to play nice, play together, and share the toys, your response as a mother is to call these five-year-old little girls Karens and to tell your daughter to retaliate with greater force by destroying everything in sight. Oh, so that's how the riot started. Now, I don't believe that this woman is obligated to teach somebody else's child how to use their manners. However, I'm sure a rational parent would have known how not to make this situation worse. These are kids, damn near toddlers. Kids are sponges. I'm sure with your demanding presence and a few words, these kids would have been playing together nicely in seconds. But nope, instead of being a role model, you decided to bully toddlers and teach your child that it's all right to destroy other people's things when she doesn't get her way. And remember how I said this is where the video started? Well, based off of this mother's lenience, instigation, and way with words, I'm finding it very easy to empathize with the fact that her daughter may have started the encounter and we just didn't see it. But we don't know that. All we know is what we have. Right. And what we have is a grown woman contributing to a situation that could have been a valuable teaching moment, but instead her ego made it worse and will probably lead to more of these encounters down the line. Yeah, this mother's going to have a lot of these encounters. Yep. Lady, you suck. Get off the trail! There are so many families on this trail! You are not supposed to be on here with motors! Get off the trail! Get, a motor. Get off the trail! Hey. That's not a motor. That's an electric bike. You pedal for a while, and then you can go for a while, and then you pedal again. It, it, it. God, people. No! no. Get off the trail. This is a bicycle! Get off it is the a bicycle. trail! Have you heard of the term carrying? <laughs> 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 no wonder kids stay inside all the time now. Jesus. Absolutely ridiculous. She worked on this poster for hours. I love you, Soraya! Oh, oh, yeah! You did, you did not. Oh, yeah. Just like your dad! <laughs> oh, hell no. Hell. Hell no. <laughs> People are awful. Isn't bothered by Kara. Wait for the end. Excuse me. You're going to need to keep it quiet around here. You're being very loud and disturbing and screaming, and it's got to stop, okay? Ex no. Excuse me, are you even listening to what I'm saying? No. Look, excuse me. Be Teaching your kids to uh, deal with a Karen at a young age, probably a good idea. <laughs> Pissed off by a mom with a baby at the bar, so she started demanding they leave. I'm 22, get out. I'm 27. Okay, okay. Maybe she's concerned, but here where I live, it's a very small community, and we have a bar that you can take your children into, and they have some of the best food. The pizza, the tacos, the hot wings. So yeah, I've taken my kids into the bar. I don't even drink alcohol. But we would go there for the food. Just saying. When the mom didn't leave, the lady started cursing at her. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You got take it either. Another girl stepped in to stand up for the mom. You have a baby in a bar. She's telling you that I'm not going to call the girl. You're 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 going to call the girl.
then a stranger is supporting them up. Why are they eating? But our baby's on the line in the box. We're confused. Oh, my baby's on the box. Eventually, the mom with the baby left the bar. Was this justified or was she just being attacked? First of all, that baby was looking at her like, ma'am, you got me messed up. I'm in here having the time of my life, okay? And this whole shot here is just classic. She got the stank face like she could smell the baby's diaper. And then the two nosy people in the back, they're just waiting so that she can give her a little two cents. But what do y'all think? Should the baby have been in the bar? Absolutely not. But should the Karen have minded her business? Absolutely. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. If the mom just went in to drink, I could see. But like I said, I've taken my children into the local bar. And like I said, it, it was just for the food. But no one ever came up to me and said, get your kids out of the bar. Ever. Because they're allowed in there until 9 p.m. And then after 9 p.m., no children are allowed at all. So, I don't know. I don't have the whole content. That's just my opinion. So dad seemed a bit unhinged himself. Anyone else think they are both Karens? They're crying. There's another Karen insulting my daughter. Coming out here, my daughter's been coming here watering plants for three weeks while they're out of town. You don't know them. You insulting my child. We live in a neighborhood. Karen, welcome to the internet, Karen. You got little girls crying. Welcome to the internet, Karen. The new Karen. Welcome to the neighborhood, Karen. I need a name. I've lived here. You don't need a name. You need to get away. You need to go somewhere. If you're on you need to go somewhere, Karen. Out here making little girls cry for watering plants at a friend of ours house, and you're the new Karen. You need to go somewhere, Karen. Welcome to the internet, Karen. Welcome to the internet. Making little girls cry. I've seen this video before. Um, they hired, they were friends of theirs, and they hired the little girl to come over and water their plants while they were gone vacation. And she did. And a lady from the neighborhood is harassing the little girl trying to water the plants um, because she doesn't belong there. I follow the rule of mind ya. Yeah. I think a lot of, a lot more people should do that. Just mind your business. Leave kids alone, especially. Unless they, they are posing a physical threat to themselves or someone else. Seriously? Come on, people. It's okay. We're gonna call, we'll call the cops through, but we just stay away here. No one's gonna touch this game, okay? <laughs> this woman is an a hole. I hope you're so proud of yourself. What are you gonna do when it rains? Exactly. When it rains, it rains. Yeah. And what could be going on too? Yeah, and that's fine. <laughs> We don't want to have to look down at this mess. So don't look at the mess. We live here. Don't look at the mess. <laughs> it's sidewalk chalk. I don't even have words. I don't even have words for this. Oh, you can't tell me that. I can't. I would never allow my children to tell a stranger where we live. That's my, that's my personal, that's my information. That's right. Personal information? Yeah. How'd you like it if a random stranger came up to your kid and asked them where they lived? Good question. Good, good, good question, Tommy. I don't know. Good question, Tommy. That's a question that we all need to be asking this lady. That's a great question for her to ask. I wonder what's her response. How'd you like it if a random stranger came up to your kid and asked them where they lived? Hmm. What kid? <laughs> I have asked you nicely to come down from there. No! <laughs> <laughs> Nigga made the point of the century. He didn't miss 
under all pressure, he didn't miss that shot. He took the shot and the bitch was confused. Shots fired! Shots fired! Where do you live? She's from I want to talk over. to your parents. Nope. Nope. You know what? I used to climb trees when I was a kid. It was one of our pastimes because we didn't have video games. We didn't have cable TV. You know, we grew up on a farm. I loved climbing trees. And I can't imagine someone coming up and threatening me because I'm climbing in a tree. Gosh. The kids go outside. You want the kids to go outside and play, but you don't want them to play. Just go away. Leave the kids alone. They're not doing anything bad. Nothing bad. Whatsoever. <laughs> this lady, bro. You want to challenge a grown woman? Uh-uh. You think this is funny? Little f four hours little. Working parents have bought these six, seven hundred thousand dollar bikes. But bottom line is how much was the car? This was like whatever. Shut the up, little dude. Shut the up. He's been getting bullied his entire life. So stop. Wow. And you think you're. Comedian. Well, right. How much was he bites? How much were they? Thousand bucks. Oh, look at me, little. Look at me. Look at me. Why me? No, I'm talking to him. Where you want to go away? You didn't hear this. What a piece of crap. I want to know who this woman is. I'm gonna find out. My family. Oh, really? I'm a, I'm a let me, let me call home. your mother and tell her how much I just. She's all dead. She's dead. How, you how you dead, guys? No. You, you, you haven't met my mom because she's dead. You're a liar, dude. You can't even act. I'm Batman, lady. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Guess what? Guess what my last name is? Bat son. So no, I'm Batman, dude. Oh, that is a lie, No. I want to know who she is. Small. We we weigh it in like, like that's the most I can give you right now. We weigh it and it's all by weight and everything. You have fucking glasses on, which means you should be able to fucking see. Yeah. And I want a large, yeah. so make this shit correctly before I shove it down your damn throat. Here, I got you. I'm sorry. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get the fuck. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Open the door. Open the door. Hey, chill. Man, man, man. I'm sorry. I am, I am the fucking manager, okay? Get out. Get out. Wow, how times have changed. You know, the people in our neighborhood when I was growing up used to look out for each other. If we did something wrong, they would be on the phone. It would be like a network of people calling your mother. You know, I was actually getting angry making this video. Come on. The world is really a crappy place right now. Keep an eye on your kids. Keep them away from these idiots, okay? Have a great day, guys. Please, if you could, give me a like and subscribe. I could really, really use it. Thanks. Bye.